forward and welcome back to our building block series. Today we're working on block number four, the Ohio Star. Here it is on the quilt and it's a classic block seen in lots of quilts. So these are the supplies that are needed to create this block. So it's an easy block assemble, but first you need to make the hourglass block. This is what it looks like. For all four sections, you just need one pink and one of your dark pink. You're going to begin by making half square triangles. So get your marking tool, a ruler, and you're going to draw your line corner to corner. You only need to do it on one side of the fabric. And that is going to be your guide because you're going to sew a fourth inch on each side of the line. So that's ready to go. Sometimes I just throw a pin in the middle. Already marked this block corner to corner. Throw a pin in here just to take it over to the machine. We've chain pieced our blocks together. So let's just clip them in between. And we can use the line drawn down the center as our cutting line. And let's press our blocks. I pressed the dark side. Let them cool off underneath the clapper. Nice crisp seams. So we've got our half square triangles. Now we're going to make this hourglass look with the light pink on one side and the white on the other. So we pair these up and when we're assembling our hourglass block we flip it over right sides together and the dark side is opposite of the other half square triangles and we're going to nest our seams together and they just kind of click into place just like that. Sometimes I throw a pin in it. And you do that so you get this, your points match in the hourglass. If you line them up just right, again, you just kind of nest those seams together. Now I'm going to flip this back so you can see the hourglass. See that? That's how we're making our hourglass. Now I need to make a mark. Um, with a marking tool from corner to corner. And I love the word, you know, the nesting seams, but I like to call them nestle, just nestled together. It just sounds so cozy. Okay, now we're going to take this to machine, chain piece. Again, just like before, this is not our sewing line. This is our guide. We're going to sew a fourth inch on each side of the line. Okay, bring it back. Again, take a sneak peek. Make sure your points are lined up. Your colors are going the right, right way. And with that, you can rotary cut on your marking line, the line you marked. Okay, let's press 
them. Each one of these blocks. You can see what an efficient way this is to create hourglass blocks. The next thing you need to do is square up your blocks. They need to measure four and a half inches. I love this square up tool by Lori Holt. And this is a little wonky. So everything, you line up your tool, so just like this, there's uh, these cross markings right here and you can line up your hourglass just like that. And anything outside your hourglass needs to be trimmed off. And this rotary mat by Sue Daly is perfect to rotate around to trim up your blocks. Okay, we've got all our blocks trimmed up. Now it is time to assemble our quilt block. Is there extra one? So, in the center we have this light blush pink, and then the surrounding areas we have this lighter pink. It's a little bit darker than the center. And it creates this almost square and a square look. So once that is, is assembled, let's grab our white units on the outside. Okay, now it comes to an easy nine patch. And we're going to sew the center over to the side and sew our units together. Again, I usually put a pin in the top. You can put it in the bottom too. So your quilt blocks don't shift. Bring it back, open it up, there we go, make sure it's going the right direction. Okay, we're going to put the outside going in. Let's lay this out again. That's why I don't press in between because I want to make sure my seams, I can nestle. So one of my seams goes one direction, the other goes the other direction. So I'm going to put a pin in place right there. So this is going to go in, this is going to go out. That way all my points line up. Okay, let's take a look. Looks like all our points are matching. Let's give it a good press. Sometimes I give it a nice mist. All right, let's take it back. It's looking pretty good. We just need to square up our block. 
Love this large square ruler, 12 and a half inches by 12 and a half. And what you can do is just line up all your squares on this grid. And once you do that, you look at your edges because what you don't want to do is cut off your points. So from your points, there should be about a fourth inch for your seam allowance so your points don't get cut off in a seam. And this looks like I need to trim very, very little. Like a little bit on top right there. Maybe just a little on this side. Okay, and your Ohio quilt star block is finished. That is a fast and efficient way to create this block. And if you've been following along, well done. This is block number four. Follow us next time, join us next time for block number five, our log cabin quilt block. <music>